this video is to go over the problems and tips and tricks for the Lee Progressive Reloader. The problem is that the chain likes to break on this thing left and right and so what I've come up with is a very simple but a very effective um, spring system. Up first, the Lee Pro Auto Disc Powder Measurer. Um, one of the simple things to make it more even on um, powder charges is if you put this simple baffle in there. This baffle I got from Midway USA cost, I don't know, less than eight bucks. I actually made two more out of a th thin piece of aluminum. Just cut them out with some shears and they've worked beautifully. This is the simple chain system I'm talking about. It's a bicycle chain link, two S hooks, and a spring with a loops on the end of it. This right here is the next item, which is the Lee micrometer adjustment bar. This will make your adjustments easier. It gets rid of the auto discs, discs and by doing this it makes it a lot easier to adjust um, you can see there right there both of them side by side they um, there's no comparison for the ten dollars that the micrometer costs um, so the micrometer just goes right on that tab right like so there you go. It just slides back and forth just like the auto discs do. This is getting it assembled. It's uh, just like the auto disc. Real simple and easily to assemble. Don't forget, gentlemen, always and ladies, always wear your safety glasses. Big deal. This is the whole assembly. Last little nut there going on. After it's all assembled, it's good to go. That's the uh, chain link, the S hook, and the spring. The reason I went with the chain link on the pullback lever is because zero frictions, no binding, and etc. etc. I did have to drill it out um, just a little bit. So you all should have calibers, but the chain link I actually used was a 142 diameter was the actual diameter of the post that went in the um, pullback lever is what they call it. Um, I drilled out the last hole. I used a number 25, which is 149 is the actual diameter. You might be able to use a uh, 530 seconds if you only have that. And um, five thirty seconds is actually a hundred and fifty six thousand, so that gives you a little more slop, but it will work just fine. Um, since I've installed this, I have had zero problems with it. Um, I have been able to probably reload over two thousand rounds. And had zero flaws. You can see the lower S hook there, to, there too. So there's two S hooks in this whole assembly. Moving on, this is a little just a paper clip bent over. I use this quite frequently when loading primers into the whole system. Um, right here, you got the primer tray full. I just use it as a block so that the primers don't fall out. It works beautifully, simple, inexpensive. This is where I've started to actually do setup for first run. Seat my first primer there. Um, now I'll pull the casing. Usually I'll get my powder load, pull that out, measure it, and etc. 
if you pull the turret up just a little bit it makes it a whole lot easier to just index it once you index it it's not a problem to move it around and manipulate it um, usually I put it right back into the station that I was in put the next casing back in and um, what you did not see there is I emptied that casing um, so it's an empty casing before it started so you don't want to double charge double charge bad big boom blow your gun up not a good day So here we start. We got a production run going on. Probably can't see it in the background, but a bullet feeder going. Um, it's the Lee bullet feeder. I actually like it for the 45. Um, it's been working beautifully for me. You do go through fingers. You, I strongly suggest buying some extras because you will tear them up, and um, that's just I think part of life until you get it completely dialed in. Um, but with this spring system, you can see that it goes up properly just like it's supposed to with the casing going into it. The spring pulls it down. Um, the micrometer is beautiful because it makes easily very simple adjustments. I can usually hold my loads within less than 0.2 um, grams, excuse me, grains. And um, it's just... Uh, I can actually pump out rounds pretty good once things are dialed in and moving along. Here we've gotten to the end of the production run. <clears throat> I'm using that same little bent over paper clip to pull the primers back in so that I can utilize every last primer. You see me put, resetting the um, primer drop bar. And um, once you get to this point, you just go real slow using that little paper clip and it works beautifully just to uh, pull in the last primers and etc and uh, then you don't crush them and get them all tweaked up or anything like that This right here is the last primer, and that would be it on that one. Thank you for watching. Any comments or questions, please do make comments on my page. And um, from there, just uh, let me know what you'd like to see and any tips and tricks. Um, hopefully I can help you guys out. Uh, be safe. Watch out for double charges. If in doubt, pull the bullet apart and um, start over. Have a great day.